Hey everybody, Neil here. Thanks for joining me. We're going to talk this week about foot pegs and these are the original Yamaha T7 foot pegs which you'll all recognise if you're an owner. What's good about these? Uh, quite a lot. They've got decades and decades of Yamaha DNA if you like. They are very well built, they're a strong item and you can rely on them. You can throw your bike down the road, these will fold up out of the way and they're robust enough to basically do exactly what they say on the tin. They've got ah, heritage is the word I'm looking for and Yamaha have been doing off-road pegs for as long as I can remember of course and you know you've got your YZs, your motocross style, your adventure bikes, nothing wrong with these whatsoever. Now a month ago I rode a different T7, not done that very often, a lad I know I'd asked for a go on my bike or I offered him a go on my bike because I'd had it tuned and he wanted to compare how what it felt like and that of course then I rode his it had big foot pegs on it and I realized just where I could go with my bike um, I had been considering different pegs for some time and I'd looked at various options um, I don't want to I didn't want to sort of go down the Amazons or the um, Aliexpress route I wanted to make sure I got a decent product and I'd then thought, well, okay, let's have a look at the pivot pegs. We know they are outstanding, good brand, and a, well, I suppose they're very well regarded. And they also go on different models of bikes as well. I then looked at Camel ADV. Uh, they're, they're fantastic CNC machined. Um, they do a beautiful black, gorgeous thing. It's, it's a st stunning pair of set of pegs. They should be on a, a, a mantelpiece but almost too nice to put on an off-road bike. If you're gonna go down a trail and fall off it, you're gonna scrape them up. The downside to them two products for me was the, the, the expense. I mean, they're not, if you want them and you've got the money, great. But the camels were over $300. I'm not knocking them, I'm not knocking the products. I think if you've got the money and you want a ni nice peg, get them. Uh, the pivot pegs were, let me think, 260, a lot of money. And I thought, you know what? I'm not quite ready. I've spent a lot of money on the bike as it is, and I wasn't really that disappointed in the function of these. I just realized that I'd benefit from a bigger platform. Now, coincidentally, at the time, I've got one here, about a similar sort of time, I also did a review on the um, Ride With Me trail stand for a chap called Colin. I bought this product. He didn't know I was gonna do the, the review, and I bought the product did a review or a show and tell, if you like, on that. And he spotted the video, contacted me, says, that's wonderful, thank you for that. Um, appreciated that I'd done it. And about a week or so later, coincidentally then, he said, I noticed on your bike, you've not got any decent sized foot pegs. I wanna send you some of mine. And what he sent me were these. Have a look at this. Now, the benefits of these are, of course, you will recognize. Look at that. It is, in fact, an oversized Yamaha OE foot peg. Absolutely fantastic. So it gives me the benefit and, of course, the knowledge that I've got an OE product. So what we've done here is basically keep the original equipment pegs, add these blanks to the original pegs and we've got ended up with a platform which is about 20, 25 mil, possibly an inch bigger. As you can see on this video here, just the size of the platform while I'm wearing my Tech 7 boots, they are a, a really good pla standing platform. And I think what, I can't really go wrong. They're only $69. Look at the saving on that. What you do is in fact, basically send him your old pegs and you, you, you trade them in, not only are uh, we in a situation where, if I can show you this white box here, this is full of all my old T7 stuff. And if I get camel or pivot pegs, what do I do with these? They just go in the box and they get thrown towards the new owner one day, if ever, I'm not ever selling my T7, but if ever I was to sell my bike, the, the next owner gets a box full of bits and they never go back on the bike. And they end up one day in, in landfill. The good thing about these, you trade them in and you're looking at a, a recycling situation, because what he does then is use the old pegs that you, saw, that you had, fits the blanks and sells them to the next person. And it's environmentally friendly. It's an absolute win. And the price, $69.
it's an absolute no-brainer. The other thing you can do as well, if you've got a mate or a, uh, a welder and you're good at welding, buy the blanks. I think they're $27 or $29. I'll put the link in the description for them. But what an absolute win. And I end up with the benefit of saving a bucket load of money, but I get the benefit of bigger foot pegs. I'm very happy to have done it this way. It keeps the bike a little bit more raw, less I would argue possibly they're a little bit lighter than the pivot pegs as much as, the, as, much as they're good. Um, I like the simplicity of the standard pegs. So thanks for watching. I hope that's of interest. And if you're looking for bigger pegs for your T7 or indeed your DRZ400, because we're doing for that as well, I've put the link in the description and save yourself some money and get into some bigger foot pegs. You can't go wrong. It's an absolute no-brainer.